Quadratic functions can be used to model projectile motion. Imagine we're trying to shoot some type of, you know, bird out of giant slingshot to hit a pig in the distance or whatever, you know, hypothetically speaking. We can, the, the path of a projectile will be a parabola. Uh, this comes from the fact that the acceleration due to gravity is a constant. And therefore, we can use quadratic equations, quadratic functions, quadratic graphs to model projectile motion in physics. So imagine a projectile is fired uh, from a cliff that is 500 feet above the water. So we see something kind of like the following. We have this cliff and then there's some water below. And this cliff is 500 feet above where the water is below. Okay. And this is going to be this, this, we're going to shoot with an inclination of 45 degrees. We're not gonna worry about the trigonometry too much. The angle of 45 degrees here just represents that we're gonna get the maximum horizontal distance. You know, if you've ever played a game like Angry Birds or not, right? You know, the, the higher the incline, the lower incline can affect the horizontal distance. 45 would be the maximum there. So that's why that's chosen. And we're gonna shoot out of our cannon. We're gonna shoot our projectile out with an initial muzzle velocity of 400 feet per second. This is the initial speed of our bullet or cannonball or whatever we're shooting. Now in physics, the height of the height of our projectile, so as this thing shoots, and eventually, it eventually is gonna land in the water somewhere down here. If we, we could measure like the distance horizontally from the cliff, let's call that distance X, then we can measure how far above the water are we at any given moment. Let's call that distance h, and therefore a typical, typical point on our parabola would look like x comma h right here. If h represents the height of the projectile above the water, water then just by some standard uh, laws of physics, you get the following equation right here. h equals negative x squared over 5,000 plus x plus 500. Um, over here, you get like the, the muzzle velocity. This was the initial height. Negative 32 has something to do with the acceleration due to gravity. This isn't a physics class, so we don't have to go through all of this. What I want you to get out of this is that h equals negative x squared over 5,000 plus x plus 500. This is a model you could use for the height of the projectile in this situation. So we might want to ask ourselves, what is the maximum height? Like if you're just trying to shoot a pig with your angry bird, there might be like a wall in the way. You have to shoot over the wall. So the maximum height needs to be bigger than the height of the wall. So what would be the maximum height of this projectile? Well, using the formula, we really just want to find out the vertex, right? We're looking for this point right here. We need to find the vertex here, which when you're looking at the vertex, there's two points always associated to it. There's the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. Do we want the X coordinate, the number that's going into the machine, or do we want the Y coordinate that's coming out? If we're looking for the height here, the height is supposed to be the Y coordinate of this function. So if we want the maximum height, we need to figure out what is the Y coordinate of the vertex. Now, to find the y coordinate, we typically start with the x coordinate here because we've seen in the past that x equals negative b over 2a, which based upon the formula we have here, you're going to get negative 1 over 2 times negative 1 over 5,000, which that's a double negative. It'll turn into 5,000 over 2, uh, which is then 2,500 feet. Now, what is that 2,500 feet measuring? This is measuring the distance from the cliff to where the maximum height is obtained. So this is how far from the cliff we travel to find the maximum height. The maximum height though, to be computed, we have to then look at H of 2,500, which that turns into negative 2,500 squared over 5,000 plus 2,500 plus 500. Don't have to be a hero. You can use your calculator to help you calculate this thing. I mean, it's not too difficult here, uh, but this will just crunch out to be 1,750 feet. And so that's the key takeaway here, that the maximum height is not going to be, a, is not this x coordinate 2,500. The maximum height will actually be the y coordinate associated to the vertex, for which our formula first finds the x coordinate of the vertex, and then we find the y coordinate. So when you're looking at quadratic problems, you often want to look at the vertex because the vertex represents sort of like a maximum. In this case, the maximum height, which is that y-coordinate. Another thing I want to mention in terms of optimization, that is finding the maximum minimum of some things, sometimes you want to find the x-intercepts. 
So for example, if I ask how far from the base of the cliff will the projectile strike the water, coming back to our picture here, we're trying to figure out what's the farthest horizontal distance you could go. And this is going to coincide with an x-intercept right here. And so to find how far from the base do we go, we're really trying to ask ourselves, what is the x-intercepts of this graph? For which the quadratic formula is probably appropriate here. We had y equals negative x squared over 5,000 plus x plus uh, 500. So the quadratic formula told us that x is going to equal negative b, which is 1, plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 4 times negative 1 over 5,000 times 500. And this all sits above 2 times negative 1 over 5,000. Like so, we crunch that number and get something out of it. This would be, if we again, if we simplify this, we can get something like 250, uh, 2,500, excuse me, plus or minus 25 uh, 2,500 times 1.4, in which, again, estimates is all we need here. We don't need an exact value. This would give us negative 458, comma, 5,458. Now, this is one of the reasons why we should think about domain in such a situation. Coming back to our picture over here, does negative 458 even make sense? In terms of our parabola, x equals 0 is kind of like the smallest value you would get. You're going to have to get that x is greater than 0. And then the maximum value is going to be whatever this is out of here. And so negatives don't really make any sense. This would be like you have um, a mole that's digging through the ground, digging, 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 boom. And then you hit the cannon, like it jumped into the cannon right when it got shot. Well, clearly that doesn't really make any sense, right? Negative values are going to be outside the domain of this problem. So we can eliminate negative 458 from consideration. So the maximum value is going to happen right here. We can shoot the, we can shoot our projectile. It'll, it'll go 5,458 feet from the site it was launched, and that's how far from the cliff it'll hit the ground.